Welcome back. Now, tattoos, body art, ink, whatever you want to call them. Countless people have them. Some people love them. Many people <laughs> hate them. Humans have been getting themselves ink for thousands of years for all sorts of reasons, from tribal allegiances to identification to pure aesthetic preference. Many professions don't even allow tattoos, or at least visible ones. Despite tattooing becoming more and more acceptable in mainstream society, there is undoubtedly a remaining stigma around them, with some going as far as to say they are a sign of a declining society. So are tattoos just an innocent form of expression, or do they represent something more sinister? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Do they turn you on? Do they turn you off? Let's talk to a man who knows all about it, the most tattooed man in Britain, the king of Inkland. So, lovely to have you here. Now, look, it's pretty startling, and when I first <clears> saw <throat> you, I did think, gosh, that's a lot of tattoos, whereas I might have liked a sort of a... maybe a tiger coming over the shoulder, a single one. You are absolutely head-to-toe. Yeah, head-to-toe, and so absolutely, it's on my face, so it's in everybody else's, so it's quite an impact, like what you just okay. said. So, my reaction, other people's reaction, what is it when they see you for the first time? It varies from um, small children that could be in a supermarket when I'm doing my grocery shopping to a scary man, but they haven't run off. So, obviously, children's minds are still developing, so they might come out with scary man. Or you might have um, a, a teenager that'll be like... Um, I like your tattoos, and then various with old people. Can pe you work, people though, with them. your fo face fully tattooed? Have you got a job? I've got hands, arms. I could stack shelves in Tesco if I wanted to. The bank manager job might be out the window, but could I run for an election? Why not knock on doors? You know, I've actually helped some MPs uh, knock doors and campaigns in the past. Uh, and I do acting and modelling. My, my appearance is actually... OK, so you, you've changed it into yeah. a artwork and that's what you do. So that's what you do as yeah. a job, modelling. Yeah, but I do have friends and I do know people in the media that have been... There's articles about a lot of people that have had discrimination against their parents. I know a pensioner, he's retired now, he's a family man. Uh, he's actually got OCD. So if we talk about the Equality Act, for example, when the, some, some jobs... Might, might have a problem against it. Mental health, OCD, body dysmorphia. Some people, they actually say, might, might be suffering from a form of health condition. That would be a protected characteristic. Are you, are you forming? I've, Do you I've, think I've, you're suffering from a form? No, so, so from a distance, I've had people, I've had um, doctors and stuff say I might, I might suffer from a rare form of body integrity disorder or a, a BIID or a B, BDD, a body dysmorphia disorder. But I'm, I'm happy in myself. I'm not going down a massive cosmetic surgery having, although I am excessive, I'm the excessive end of well, tattooing. You say, you say that, I'm looking now on your hands. So you have done surgery, you've got implants okay, so, in your hands and an implant in your chest yeah, and, and your doctor was struck off. Like, like tattoos, um, I have things that mean to me. So I've got a crown in my hand, an implant, silicon implant, just like women that, that might have breast implants or other people might have cosmetic surgery. Uh, I've got things that mean stuff to me. And yet again, back in culture, hist history, people were still putting things in their skin, under their bodies. And uh, I've travelled the world. I've got family in Australia. I've seen Maoris. Yet again, that's a lifestyle, a way of culture. I'm not a Maori, but... It's a way of life. What? Why? I guess is my question. I mean, what? what, what Are you why? transfixed there? Phil? Well, Just looking why at do you, why? Why do you think they're so attractive? Tattoos and you know, it doesn't. It doesn't do anything for me. Why? why well, I tread a fine line with the word addiction because there are a few people that say they're addictive to addicted to tattoos. Like, I mean, David Beckham's got several. You know, a lot of celebrities yeah. now. Uh, I think David Cameron's wife, Samantha Cameron's got a little, little dolphin. Dolphin, you're quite yeah, right. Yeah, on yeah, her but, but like whether you We're stop like at that, one, though, no, whether you stop on at her one or, or <laughs> in fact, most people get the first one and it's the one that they regret half the time. Uh, but then what the, the addictive bug might might get hold of people and they're working on the second and third one. What after was your the first. first one? I had a British bulldog on my left arm, so not that I planned then the journey to be completely covered. It just becomes something. And I have got ADHD, I'll put that out there. So uh, my mum always thought that my first one would probably be several because I always collected stuff. I could never have two, you know, one of anything. And our, our fantastic producer, Maria, is a, she's obsessed with tattoos as well, isn't she? <laughs> obsessed, was... and, obsessed and addiction are two, two, two very fine well, words. I, I, think, I think she's both, so, to be so, honest. Uh, but, but, but it's a lifestyle. It's, 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 you know, it's a liberating... You have it because you want it, you're not forced. Well, look, I'm, I'm from Yorkshire, so this is a key question. How much on earth does it all cost to get yourself <laughs> fully covered in tattoos? Because that would put me off alone, I think. I, th I think you should sit down with my bank manager and have a chat about that because, uh, yeah, obviously savings and interest rates have just gone up, but I think I have took a few few pounds out of my bank over the years. Roughly, how much does it do you think? I don't, I've, you know, I've I've read I've read articles that have said I've spent six thousand pounds on tattoo removal. 
you know, when I've had laser removal. Yes, you've had many removed, to be honest. Yeah, and now I've started, um, I've started tattooing over tattoos now. So it's, uh, I've read up things. I've spent twenty, forty thousand pound. Love me, So you've, we'll, you've done a poll as well, haven't you? I have this? done a poll, but I want to look at. I'd want to look at ink lands eyes, right? Because when I first saw you, mm. I thought you had contact lenses in because your eyes are black and it looks a bit if you don't mind me saying is it meant to be um i don't know a snake or a reptile i'm not sure what your eyes are meant so, to some be some people doing, say but a gorilla a tattoo, but it's it's called an eyeball tattoo uh, yeah and i'm uncomfortable with it being known as that because you if you was to take the traditional tattoo method the tattoo machine to the eyeball you you, you know medically you could have all sorts of complications. It is a dangerous procedure, but it's surgical. So, yeah, I have got ink in my eyes, and I researched it for a number of years. You can't go to an optician, you can't go to a tattoo artist to have it done either. And how's it done? Uh, it's done with a syringe, so it is a surgical procedure with ink, and less is more, the less jabs that you have in the eye. The more, oh, my uh, goodness. But I went to my, eye, uh, my optician... Uh, had it had my eyes tested here. In fact, I've got an eye test coming up in the next couple of weeks. Oh, my now, goodness. Now, we did a poll on this... Um, it was, do you find tattoos a turn-on, a turn-off, or don't care either way? I don't know if you're surprised by these results or not, but only 7% said they thought they were a turn-on, 67% said a turn-off, and 26% said they didn't care either way. Well, if, Does that if, surprise you? If, if you were to ask the questions at a tattoo convention, one of the biggest in the world, London Tattoo Convention, Mexico, wherever, you, you, I'm sure you'd get... Total different results, as you probably imagine. So, for you, it doesn't matter. You don't. You, it's for, I take it it's for you, not any. Or is it for other people? Why do you do it? So, it has become lifestyle. Like I said, I'm very well uh, diverse in education and flying around the world from a young age. Uh, I, I don't think children have that luxury now with, with the educational system. But I did get to see a lot of different cultures around the world. I loved art. I'm just not very good at drawing. And, um, yeah, the fact that people can put pictures on their bodies is something that fascinates me.